Look, there's Sarah and Asif. I think they've come for a picnic with their parents. That's right. But how do you know they're Sarah's and Asif's parents? You've never met them before. They look a lot like Asif and Sarah. All parents look like their children. Oh, a better way to say that is Asif and Sarah look like their parents. It's the features and traits of the parents that are passed on to the children. Uh, I don't understand. Well, let's learn about heredity and the transfer of genetics today. The transfer of characteristics from parents to offspring is known as heredity or inheritance. Traits like eye color and height are transferred from parent to child. These are called hereditary characteristics. Hair, skin color, eye, and free or attached earlobes are a few examples of hereditary characteristics that are transferred from parents to offspring. Let's look at this family. The daughter, Sarah, has straight brown hair just like her mother. The color of her eyes is brown like her father's. The son, Asif, has the same complexion as his mother and the same nose. But the color of his hair is black like his father's. But how are these traits passed on from parents to the offspring? Good question. The answer lies in the nucleus of each cell in our body. The nucleus contains thread like structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes are the basis of heredity and occur in pairs. In each pair, one chromosome comes from the father, while the other comes from the mother. But how do we get the chromosomes from our parents? Chromosomes that come from the father are in the sperm, and chromosomes that come from the mother are in the egg. During fertilization, the sperm and the egg fuse together. A new individual grows from this fertilized egg with 23 chromosomes from the father and 23 from the mother. Look at this picture of human chromosomes. Can you count them? Each strand is a chromosome, so together there are 46 chromosomes in humans. The number of chromosomes varies for different species of animals and plants. Humans have 46 chromosomes, cats have 38 chromosomes, and onions have only 18. A chromosome is made up of DNA molecules packed together. The shape of the DNA looks like a twisted ladder, also called a double helix. Each chromosome is made up of thousands of genes. Genes? What are genes? Genes are the basic units of heredity located on chromosomes. They are short sections of DNA responsible for the transmission of characteristics from parents to offspring. Every hereditary characteristic in an organism, for example height, eye color, shape of the earlobe, is controlled by genes. But if this is the case, how come Asif has a cleft chin? His parents don't have a cleft chin. Children possess many features similar to those of their parents, but they can also differ from their parents' features in many ways. Differences in characteristics among members of a family or species are called variations. Let's take a closer look at variations with some examples. Eye color is a genetic trait that varies in humans. Our genes determine the amount of eye pigment in our iris. 
This concentration of eye pigment in the iris affects eye color. The eye color can range from the most common color brown to the least common blue. Next are earlobes. In humans, earlobes are of two types free earlobes and attached earlobes. Free earlobes are those that hang below the point of attachment to the head. Attached earlobes are attached directly to the side of the head. Let's summarize. The transfer of characteristics from parents to offspring is known as heredity or inheritance. The characteristics transferred or passed on from parents to children are called hereditary characteristics. The nucleus of a cell contains thread-like structures called chromosomes. Genes are the basic units of heredity located on chromosomes. They are short sections of DNA responsible for the transmission of characteristics from parents to offspring. Differences among members of a family or a species are called variations, like the color of the eye and the shape of earlobes in humans.